Southwest Louisiana honored world-renowned surgeon and cardiovascular specialist, Dr. Michael E. DeBakey, a native of Lake Charles at the Calcasieu Parish Central Library on July 9th. Lake Charles attorney Michael Veron and cardiologist Dr. Michael Turner shared their memories of Dr. DeBakey commemorating the anniversary of his death. Dr. DeBakey was graduated from Lake Charles High School and thereafter educated at Tulane University. Like Dr. DeBakey, my name is Michael. Like Dr. DeBakey, I was born in Lake Charles, and like Dr. DeBakey, I was educated at Tulane. <laughs> Unfortunately, the similarities all end there. But even while in medical school, as Mayor Roach said, Dr. DeBakey invented the roller pump, an essential component of the heart-lung machine. You have to understand, modern heart surgery wouldn't be possible without that. Um, after volunteering for service in World War II, Dr. DeBakey was exempt as a medical school professor at Tulane, but he volunteered saying he could not imagine, as the son of immigrants, anyone not wanting to serve their country in a time of war. And so he volunteered. I am told much to the chagrin of Dr. Alton Oshner at Tulane Medical School. He invented MASH units because he wanted to find a better way to bring urgent medical care to wounded soldiers. We will never know how many lives he saved through the MASH units that were used in World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and now the conflict in the Middle East. Dr. DeBakey also conceived the VA hospital scheme in order to continue to provide medical care for our returning military veterans. He pioneered the use of Dacron grafts to replace or repair blood vessels, getting the idea from women's stockings. I'm 66 years old. I'm considered to be the elder statesman of cardiologists in Lake Charles. But at age 66, Dr. DeBakey was just shifting in the second year. That's something that we should all emulate. And in fact, it may be important more so than we even can imagine because with the changes coming in health care over the next several years, the wisdom that can only come from years and years of experience is going to be very important to help guide us through these changes. I wish you were here to help us. The second thing uh, that, that I'd like to mention is also been, has also been alluded to today. For someone who had risen to such a pinnacle in our, in our medical community, to the very heights of cardiovascular medicine, to always have remembered the roots that he came from is just incredibly, uh, it's, it's an aspect of his personality that I think uh, should, should uh, always be remembered. When I started my practice in Lake Charles in, in 1975, there wasn't an, an adult in Lake Charles that didn't feel like Dr. Michael DeBakey was not his best friend. And someone that he could personally call, he or she could personally call and talk to if they needed to, just as has already been said today. Uh, and the patients that we shared that he operated on and I helped care for in the years to come, as has already been mentioned, many times received calls or letters, or I received calls or letters, uh, asking how they were doing, and always entreating me to please give him follow-up as the years passed uh, for these people whose lives he had touched. Dr. DeBakey's statue will soon be transferred to its permanent home, the Lake Charles Regional Airport.